We know that uh, security, of course, will be ramped up back home in Philadelphia in hopes of discouraging fans from celebrating a potential World Series win just a little too hard. Yes, yeah, safety first here. <laughs> so that includes trying to keep people from taking part in that illegal tradition of pole scaling when the grease just won't keep people down. <laughs> One such reveler was arrested for his actions after the Phillies punched their ticket to the big dance here in Houston. Yeah, well, that guy was uh, just released from police custody late this afternoon, and Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher caught up with him. She is live along the parkway now. Uh, it turns out he is no stranger to the top of those poles, Brianna. Yeah, Brian, sorry, that's right. We talked to Sean Hagan right after he was released today, and he was in good spirits. We may never know exactly who coined this trend, but we all know that when a team wins big here in Philadelphia, fans just head right to street poles. It didn't take long for celebrations to take over Broad Street on Sunday, which of course included not one, not two, but multiple pole climbers. Video captured one of the many climbers, one of them, Sean Hagen, seen here atop this pole on Broad and Sansom. According to Philadelphia police, he's now facing charges. Action News spoke with Hagen right after he was released. Going forward, I would recommend people not to do it. Hagen says he was up there for roughly 45 minutes until the fire department brought in a ladder to get him down. Some may remember back in 2010, a Phillies red man ran onto the field at Citizens Bank Park. I was dressed up in paint and tights with a cape and a mace to cover my uh, face. I ran out in the field when I was a kid. I haven't been in Citizens Bank Park since. More than a decade later, he's still a diehard Philadelphia sports fan. We had fun that night and we're going to win this World Series. But it proves the type of fans we are. We're passionate people and we're compassionate about our sports. And people don't think an arrest is going to prevent any future pole climbers. Oh, no, no way, no way. People are still going to try to do it because they're going to be all amped up. It's a little dangerous, but, um, you know, the excitement is you can't contain it. Now, Sean says he'll definitely still be celebrating, but from the ground. And all the fans that we talked to today say that this Philadelphia tradition is not going anywhere. For now, we're live from the Parkway. Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6, Action News. Brian Shari. Yeah, well, they greased all those poles, but it was raining so hard Sunday night, it just kind of washed off, and, uh, and there we have it. Yeah. Okay, stay on the ground. Thank you, Brianna.